Hey everybody, this is True Powers Mine and this is Special Report. This is my first video movie review. I'm going to review Destination Planet Negro today. Let's, uh, without further ado, let's start the show. If you are moderate to severe ulcerative colitis or Crohn's symptoms... Hold on, we'll just turn that down. Uh, thank you, David, for sending me this to review. And... I hope you guys will truly enjoy the inside. Now the movie starts off in like this, uh, hold on, I don't think I can have the sound, alright, but I'll be telling you, well, I'll, I'll bring in ins inserts as it goes, hold on, let me... Okay, now you can see they they built this rocket ship, but listen to this part. It's really funny. All the, okay, you have, hold on. Hold on. Bam. I want, I wanted to keep, okay, I can't, I gotta get this whole shot in here. Alright, hold on. I want to. So is that the full? Okay, I guess that's the full frame. Okay, starting over here, you had like the typical black boule crowd. You got the preacher with the jerry curl and the hair, probably. Uh, you have this, um, I guess, this bourgeois. You have the military man, uh, obviously uh, another religious sister. You know, uh, nondescript uh, religious brothers in the background. Continue. Now, what is this? Is this some kind of bomb? I would not participate in any acts of violence. No one will I participate in an overthrow of the government. Please tell me you did not spend our money on this. <laughs> did you hear those responses? Hold on. Let's see if we can go back uh, 20 seconds. Oh, no. Ah, uh, you gotta love that. Not a bomb. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let's start at the beginning. Here's the beginning. <laughs> we cannot fight them. We cannot work or live with them. Our only solution is to leave. So I take it that you are talking about a new Back to Africa move. Oh, okay. Yes. We could complete what Marcus Garvey started. <laughs> no, Dr. Bethune, we felt that Africa has the same problems that we have here. Colonialism, Jim Crow, poverty, the feeling of inferiority. We must go further. I take the task force has suggested that we join the Communist Party. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Du Bois? I... <laughs> Look at the dysfunction here, folks. This is what I'm talking about. This is what we're up against. Here's the leader supposed to have all the money, all the, the, the answers. But in reality, they have none. Freedom is the only answer. Freedom. Not bowing down to their fucking rules or the next motherfucker. Bow down to the Constitution. And if you don't like this one, make your own. Use scriptures. Use something that's incorruptible. People are always corruptible. I, sir, am no red. As well, I will not participate in any conclusions that do not include my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Please, communism is not the answer. Then where? Europe? Become expatriates. Many of our jazz musicians have told us how they feel more welcome in Europe. Europe is not the answer for the Negro. Yes, we'll be tolerated there. But we are not Europeans. We are Africans. And as our numbers grow, there will be problems. Then where? 
there is no place else. The North Pole? The North Pole is not a home for colored people. Matthew Henson will tell you that. Well, how about the South Pole? Warmer there. <laughs> <laughs> no. The poles are not the answer. We must go even further. There is no further. <laughs> there is no further. Why go anywhere? That's my question to you. This is our home. The planet. The ground that you are on right now, right this second, those of you who can hear this voice, this is your home. If you feel truly like you're being oppressed or disenfranchised, then fight. Do something. Not fight physically, psychologically, corporately. Fight. Because there's no place to run. There's no place to go. Either you live and you overcome the struggle, or you just perish. Let's continue. What could be further? Follow me. fear is so predictable of course both of those gentlemen have no problem with the government that should be protecting us all being subverted by a few they have no problem with well agencies that are supposed to uphold the law and defend the populace going outside their bounds to hurt people they don't have no problem with that fact that was keeps them in power you take that out of the equation you, you let people really be free all of a sudden these people don't have no fucking power and then they're in a certain type of way freedom is for all of us that's why I hope my fellow country men and women and everything in between realize this movie will open up your eyes to a lot of different things now we'll go uh I want, you know, because I just can't sit here and play the whole damn movie without, you know, major copyright infringements, but I can make excerpts and I can use that as a, as a thing. Hold on. Now, this one here is funny. Mr. Horn. Continue. So, now let's stop all this fool talk. It's not fool talk. George Washington Carr. Four years ago, Dr. Avery and I secretly traveled to Germany, where we met with Professor Werner von Braun and Professor Goddard, the leading scientists in the field of space and rocket research. When I returned, I immediately launched into developing a rocket fuel made out of peanuts and sweet potatoes. <laughs> I made a profound breakthrough. <laughs> Using the extracts of peanuts and sweet potatoes, and combining them with radioactive materials, I have developed an atomic rocket fuel 
which I believe will power this spacecraft to Mars. <laughs> it's always amazing. You know how movies can can throw in a lot of reality into it. You know, as we all know that uh, Dr. Carver made many industrial products. The big industry used to produce many things from plants. And he did this because he had an innate consciousness, if you want to say this, of self. He was in tune in a higher frequency kind of way. And we all can reach this plateau, but you can't do it from from a fear-based perspective. It has to be honest and sincere. Continue. Good gracious of life, what that man can do with a peanut. Now, with my fuel and this rocket, I believe we can travel to Mars, colonize it, and establish a new home for colored people. Planet Negro. <laughs> Why would we want to look at like everybody? You know, you know, I have made that statement, man, before, you know. Yeah, let's just jump on a rocket ship and leave Earth. But honestly, that's so cowardly. I mean, I, I could say leaving Earth if we did it in unison as far as uh, true colonization, exploration. But to do it to try to run away from hate and bigotry and all that bullshit? No. No, because all that's going to happen is the people that you leave behind will just grow stronger and stronger. Or, now potentially the opposite could happen. They could grow weaker and weaker, turn on each other and basically annihilate themselves. And then you can swing back around. You know, but that has to be a part of a bigger convoluted plan. If, you, if the plan is just to try to escape some shit, that's kind of cowardly. But if it's bigger, co more convoluted plan, that's honorable. That's cool. Continue. YouTube no. is great for people that are just starting. Yeah, I guess it is. Um... If you will, Planet Negro. Constructed from the ground up, without the limitations of, of poverty, Jim Crow fear, or white folks. Or oh, white folks. Tell me you did not spend all that hard-earned cash that our people gave us on this, this buster crab, flash in the pan, comic book bullshit! We all admire Professor Carver. You, sir, are the Negro Leonardo da Vinci. But that doesn't mean that you're not a charlatan. May I say something, Dr. Horn? Please, we would be honored, Professor Carter. Now, I, I want to thank you all for your kind words about myself and my work. I am truly grateful. But you see, it's not about me. It's about white folks kicking our asses. Dr. Carver! Oh, don't Dr. Carver me. Look, I'm tired of playing the humble scientist for these peckerwoods. <laughs> Oh, yes, sir, boss. Thank you, boss. Oh, no, sir. I don't need no money. I do it for the glory of God. Now, if I would receive money for my inventions or demanded credit for my, my breakthroughs, I'd be lynched, in prison, or worse. Mm, count on. Like that peanut butter thing. Classics. Now, before long, every white child in America would be asking his mammy to put some of it on top of some bread with some molasses, <laughs> honey, or jelly. What do you think they'll say? Oh, that old color. Oh, oh man. Hold on, man, y'all. You guys, I'll put the link to this movie on YouTube in the link below, okay? Uh, so you can watch it uninterrupted and help build their channel or whatever. But this is my review. And I'm going to review it the way. Now I want to, hold on. I want to jump it up. Well, I'll let this scene play out. I'll let this scene play out. Hold on. Look, scientist Dr. Carver made it possible for me to get this good taste and mess stuck to the roof of my mouth. Mm. Hell no. I won't see a damn quarter. Mm. Probably not. Oh, they'll probably put my name on a jar. Poor-ass Uncle Carver's peanut butter and nothing. Oh, well, that's all right. I don't mind. Yes, sir, I played a coon. <laughs> but you see, color folks gonna have their day, understand? Now, Dr. Horn, 
since you don't seem to support our plan, then get your motherfucking Uncle Tom ass out of the way. Cause baby, we going to Mars. <laughs> Give us some <laughs> And there is the seed of fraternization. Fraticide. That is uh, military for divide and conquer. But he's going to go the extra mile. Fraternization in any clan dine operation is inevitable. Uh, listen to the work of Dr. Nellie Fuller Jr. He'll, he'll break it down. It's an inevitability. And in this screenplay, we actually see it play out flawlessly. Now, I'm not saying Dr. Carter has some problems of his own. And the next scene will elaborate the mindset the good doctor's in. Let's continue. <laughs> Take off from here, race. Right. And then you're going to have to take a hard left here. Hard left. Yeah, dodge, dodge, it, right. dodge it. Dodge it. Obviously, there is much that we do not know about space travel. But Dr. Carver has something that may help. Come with me. <laughs> well, now, I've consulted with some of my fellow Negro inventors, uh, Elijah McCoy. Garrett Morgan and Granville Woods. And we've come up with this. Strong. I named him after my old master when I was a slave. <laughs> Boy, he's the real McCoy, huh, Doc? Mm. Now, I programmed him with many functions that hopefully will help us solve some of the mysteries of, of the Red Planet. <clears throat> uh, strong. What you want there, boy, huh? I, I programmed him to speak like my old master. <laughs> uh, <laughs> strong. Is the air on Mars safe? I ain't been there yet. Look here. Uh, take that damn shift roll and carry on back here because uh, the air could be bad for Negroes. Maybe so now. I won't. Yeah. I think I, I may need to rethink this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait a racist robot. But hold on. I want to go jump up. We're going to jump through the movie a little bit. I mean, this movie has so much, um, so much stuff in it. Hold on. I want to get to the, uh, I want to get, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a part where they go to a grocery store, and it's hilarious. If you're moderate to severe, oh, come on, man. All right, you know. Hold on. Here it is. Now they just landed. Hold on. Let me set it up. They just landed on Earth, you know, after travel. Or, or not Earth, but, uh, well, yeah, basically Earth. And uh, they think they're on Mars or some shit for a second. But they're still coming to Earth, like, I guess, in present day or whatever, with, like, this, the old mentality. Check this out. It's hilarious. There's some peanut butter, y'all. <laughs> Look at all of this. Yeah. What in the same hell is that? Oh, it's an ice box. Oh.
just want to turn down. I don't want no copyright. But, oh, that's hilarious. My God, what have they done to us? Did you see that boy? Angry, sullen, his pants sagging from malnutrition? It took him one hand as a hold them up, and his trousers falling clear past his bones. You can see his underwear. He didn't even have the strength to pull his pants up. <laughs> and those devices in his ears. It seemed to be sending him messages. Is that how they control us here? Making us complacent and subservient? Whatever it is, he, he didn't like it. Did you see him? Muttering to himself. His head bebopping around all over. No, it's sad how in this movie he degenerates. He degenerates into the guy that he first sees. All right. Now, hold on. We're just going to jump through it because, I mean, some of this is anecdotal. You know, it's like, okay, my guy. But now, hold on. I want, I want to show you guys. It's going to be a commercial, though. I know it is. Oh, okay, cool. Hold on. Him? He's a major idiot. I'll give anything to make his ass disappear. We must stop the feminazis. Stop those who think we come from monkeys and not God. My God. That's a horn. We will build a wall on our borders that will forever keep them out. The architects of our democracy, our forefathers, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, demand that we take this country back. No. Uh, you don't know who that is? We don't know anyone. Damn. You really are from another planet, girlfriend. People say, Howard, why don't you wear a flag pin? The commander-in-chief, girl. And I say to them, I will wear a flag pin. Come on. Obama. President Obama. When I take this country back. Obama, Irish. Uh, <laughs> and, and once and for all, the victim welfare entitlement state. Okay. They hate me on Barack Hussein Obama. The first motherfucking black president of these United States of America, baby. Yep. I am not a victim. My father was not a victim. His father was not a victim. You are not a victim. So you're not a slave. And the president is colored? Um. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> so see, even when what you perceive to be the greatest thing to ever happen happens oftentimes it's not like sister girl here you just fall on out but hold on i want to go right here this is hilarious in a very uncool way oh here we go all right it's popcorn time grab some popcorn guys obviously we're gonna have a uh, mandatory commercial here. Grab popcorn and come on back. The movie review. Hello, black man. I believe you. You have to live on the reservation. You have to live on the. Boy, Jackie Robinson. Black man. Hmm. Thank you. Nah, man. Right on. Right on what? I don't. Hold right. on. Because you... that guy's supposed to be teaching 
black. him how to be black. This guy's teaching him how to Thank be black. You. Nah, man, right on. Right on what? I don't live too far from campus. I like to walk through the old jazz district. Everything is a museum. Now, this right here, hold on, let me set this up. This right here is going to explain why those of us who make it typically look at those of us who haven't made it like the crab in the barrel bucket. What she says right here at the end. Integration. That was a good thing. Uh, of course. But when Jackie Robinson joined the majors, there was no more need for a Negro League. Are you saying that we integrated with whites, but they didn't integrate with us? That's right. We didn't have to live on the reservation anymore, so we moved out. But then the jobs left, the money left, everything left. good thing about segregation there was no choice now how in the fuck is that a good thing the only good thing about seg there was no choice that's not a good thing good fuck whose perspective you're in that's what I'm talking about it's either about freedom or it's not about freedom now this is part one of this movie breakdown and it's uh, the negro planet I will revisit it and finish it out but uh just remember that's what it's about right there the only good thing about segregation there's no choice you had to deal with me that's what she's screaming ultimately anyhow this has been a special report movie edition peace